guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of November reading for you all. November 1st through the 15th reading for Taurus. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. Oops. Sorry. Six there. My prayers are still going out to all the innocent people out there going through nonsense. And it seems like there's a lot of you. So please be safe. Take care of yourself. beautiful weather. Weather's starting to turn. Trees are starting to change. All right, you all, let's see what we got. Three of rods, which are wands. The world card. Knight of Cups. Some of these are kind of dark. I hope you can see them okay. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Rods. And Five of Cups. Ace of Rods, which is Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, and the High Priest. Sadness and Isolation. Hmm. Coming together. If you guys are feeling sad and isolated, I feel like it's about to change. I think there's something's about to come in that's going to change it for you. Forgiveness and get more information. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all, you know, when I get the Five of Cups and I get the sadness and isolation and then I get the coming together, if you guys are going through a little bit of um, anxiety, sadness, um, something that maybe it, it could be over a relationship, but it might not be. It might just be the way things are going right now in your life or that's the things that are surrounding you or the situations that's surrounding you that's really starting to upset you. Sometimes uh, with the cups, it is an emotional uh, roller coaster, basically. And you take it and you take it and you take it until you just can't take it no more. And sometimes you break down and you cry. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. 
but I do feel like with this sadness and isolation that some of you guys are feeling this way and you guys are feeling isolated and you are feeling like maybe nobody's listening to you or nobody is is asking your opinion maybe um, but I do feel like that there's something that's coming in and you guys may need to get more information on it but there's something that's coming in that's going to put you all in a, in a totally different frame of mind so if you guys are going through this little bit of sadness or isolation at this time, please hang in there for a minute, okay? It will get better, and it will get better soon. I really do feel that way, especially you all. I have this world card right here, and I just feel like that with this world card, you guys probably know if you've listened to me before, with the world card, it's almost like you're going to put you're going to end something and start a, a something else new. It's almost a, a completion of something that, that's happened in your life. It's a part of your life experience that has been completed now. And you guys can start doing something different. And with that, I always feel like that there is going to be a blessing that comes along with it. The reason why is because it's, it's sometimes with the with these huge cycles that goes on in your life these cycles could be you know a year five years they could they could go on for quite some time um, this is not something that just you know comes and goes uh, quickly so whenever you get the world card there, there's been stages that you guys have had to go through and life experiences and, and obstacles and tasks and and learning and and failing and you know things like that so when I get the world card, I just feel like that you guys are going to be able to breathe a sigh of relief here very soon. And with that, you're going to be able to get maybe a blessing that comes from the divine, from the universe that says, congratulations, you have finally gotten through this huge cycle. You've done a great job. I give you kudos. Here you go. I'm going to give you a blessing. And I think that that in itself is really going to pull you guys out of this sadness and isolation. And I feel like that that it will also um, open your heart for forgiveness for whatever you have been going through. Forgiveness can be to a specific person or a specific situation, but sometimes it's just a specific thing that's going on in your life that you just have been bottling up and once you real realize okay i'm gonna move forward and i'm gonna forgive and i'm gonna i'm gonna take um i'm gonna get rid of whatever is is not good for me and take the good and move forward i'm feeling like that you guys are going to have options coming in especially if you guys have been looking for something specific whenever i get this three of rods three of wands um, and then the two of pentacles right underneath it. I'm feeling like that some of you guys are are looking for something. You've you've asked for something. You've applied for something. You've requested something. And whenever I get the three of rods, I feel like that your answer is about to come in, or your application, or your um, you know your job, your apartment, whatever it is that you guys have been waiting on, um, could be coming in to to either approve you or give you some kind of hope or give you some sort of options. And especially with this two of pentacles here underneath it, I feel like you're going to have two different options and you're going to be able to pick and choose whatever is the best for you. And for heaven's sakes, you guys already know that if, if you have options, um, you can pick the better choice for you, your family. Maybe it's a new job or a new location, but you can pick and choose what is the best for you. So that in itself is, is, is a blessing to a certain extent. Um, so when I also get, you know, I get this page of, of wands right here. And anytime you get a page, they could stand for children, okay? So some of you all may be dealing with your children, your grandchildren. You may be dealing with, you may be a teacher of some, you know, for a school. Um, so you may be dealing with children. But on the flip side of this, this could be a messenger or someone giving you some sort of information. You know, this Eight of Rods right here is usually a message a message card too it could be you know coming getting some sort of opportunities coming in sometimes it's long distance but i'm sitting <laughs> i was sitting here looking at this card is this a dog i'm not sure um it looks like it oh it's a message okay <laughs> i thought it was a dog with a long snout but i guess it might be a message that's coming in that she's about to grab 
So here's the thing with this Eight of Rods. Messages, messengers, opportunities may be coming in long distance. You may be hearing something that's um, that, that's going to get you excited again, and you may need to get more information on it, especially if it's something that's um, going to change your life to a certain extent. Let's say, okay, let's say that you're wanting to move to a different um, city or a different state or even a different country for all that goes, and you... Um, are really looking forward to this job opportunity or this new apartment or condo or home and when you start getting these opportunities you definitely need to start doing some research get more information on the the job get more information on the location get more information on the house you're wanting to buy whatever it is maybe it's car maybe you want to buy a car at this time whatever it is get more information on it because that might be something very important that you need to do because sometimes if you know all the information of a specific a company for instance um, you might not want to take that job or if you find out that the apartments that you're wanting to get or the condos you're wanting to get if the crime is not so good around that area you might not want to take that apartment or that condo you guys know what I'm saying there's something about an opportunity that may come in that you definitely need to get more information about maybe it's pay maybe it's how much you're gonna get paid the benefits you're gonna get and stuff like that too at this time but I'm feeling like that whatever is making you sad and isolated, I think that is about to change here in just a minute, okay? And when I say that, I mean a few days, maybe a week. Um, I also have this high priest. And you guys, let's face it, okay? Right now, we all need to pray a little bit more. We all need to maybe meditate a little bit more. Some some people may want to start going back to church. Some people may want to start reading the Bible. Some people may want to get more spiritual and more um, information that way as well. So also when I see this get more information, it could go spiritual or religious or something to this extent as well. On the flip side of this high priest, sometimes he has to do with contracts and higher education and things. So maybe some of you guys are wanting to go back to college or go back to school or take online classes. But maybe some of you guys are wanting to get into this new contract with this opportunity. This new apartment may have a contract. So there may be contracts um, that you guys may be getting into. So please make sure you know I feel like that get more information is extremely important during this time, okay? Um, so I just want you to be cautious about it. I want you to read everything. I want you to, to um, read all the fine print. Make sure you understand completely because there's something about this that might have a little twist to it regarding um, something that you might not like very much. So please um, be cautious of that. But then when I get this coming together, I feel like you guys are going to be coming together possibly with your children maybe at this time. Maybe it's coming together with your neighbors, with your friends, with your relatives. Um, so I feel like that that sadness and isolation along with the forgiveness is going to bring you and your um, immediate circle closer together. And with that, you're going to throw the sadness out the window because... Here comes this Ace of Wands, and look at it. Look how cute she is. Um, so I'm thinking that you guys are ready to take on some sort of a new adventure. Because when I get the Ace of Wands, it can mean new beginnings, okay? It can, But it can also stand for a new home, a new job, um, success in different ways. It can just stand for something that you're passionate about, some kind of creativity coming out of you. So it can go in so many different ways, but I'm feeling like you guys are ready for a new beginning. And this new opportunity may be uh, bringing that in for you, along with options that to where you'll be able to pick and choose. For some of you, it does have to do with children, but for some of you, this is a message coming in, um, bringing you some sort of hope. I think that's how I'm feeling about it. I do have that Knight of Cups as well. So for some of you, maybe this is a new relationship or moving on towards, um, maybe you're moving closer to someone that 
maybe you met on a dating website or something to that extent and the next thing you know you might be moving uh, closer to them maybe that's where this new world cards coming in this new um, this new life cycle to a certain extent so it's and that might be where this coming together so I think that you're going to bond with someone or a group of people in the very near future and I think that's going to put you on a much better path and possibly a new relationship of oh, this is, he can stand for romance and um, emotions and things like that or you may be dealing with a uh, water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces give me just a minute okay I'm gonna rearrange All right, you all, I hope they're straight. Here's the thing. With this Five of Cups and this sadness and isolation, I just feel like that a lot of you guys and a lot of other people are going through a little bit of um, sadness, confusion, um, isolation, um, a little bit of, of instability almost at this time. But I think that that's going to start changing for a lot of you guys. I think with this world card right here that you guys are going to be able to put something behind you because you're going to finish a part of your life experience and you're going to be able to start out in a new life experience. With that, I believe, comes a blessing. Um, and I feel like that the rest of these cards are blessings for you all. I have this Knight of Cups and you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, um, that may be someone that's coming into coming together uh, possibly for you guys. This could be a um, romantic relationship, but it could also be someone in your family or friends or neighbors or someone to that extent as well. But I'm thinking that there's going to be something that you guys may need to forgive possibly regarding this Five of Cups. Someone, a situation, um, the whole, maybe there's a whole circle of nonsense that's going on in your life that you just need to forgive, forget, and move on um, so you can be happy again. With this high priest right here, I believe that he could stand for spiritual and religion, Bibles, churches, things like that. I believe um, more prayer wouldn't hurt anything and I, I'm a firm believer on it so pray and maybe meditate maybe thinking about going back to church but he can also stand for higher education as far as um, schools or uh, online classes or but he can also stand for contracts so some of you all could be dealing with some sort of contracts going on in the very near future as well especially if you're taking a new job or maybe you own your own business and you're going to have you know service contracts out there um, either way it goes make sure you get all the information that you need make sure you read all the fine print ask all the maybe even get a pen and a paper write down all the questions that you need um, to ask with this get more information I almost feel like that there's something stuck in there that you guys may need to be uh, cautious about okay you might not approve of it you might not pay attention to it but once it's all said and done you might come back and bite you in the in the butt so be cautious of that okay I do feel like you and, and, and maybe a group of people or at least someone else is coming together once again and you guys are gonna you're gonna feel more um, loved and more harmony I believe than you have, excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. I snuck right up on me. I apologize. <clears throat> You're going to have more harmony once you come together. 
I feel like that with this Eight of Rods and, and this child, this page, there may be some sort of um, message or messengers that's coming in for you guys. Sometimes it's long distance, sometimes it's new opportunities, but especially with this Three of Rods and this Two of Pentacles, if you guys have applied or are going to apply for something, you may be getting some kind of information back that you've been waiting on, and I find that exciting. I think you're going to have options for in, within these opportunities, and I think they're going to get you excited. Look at this Ace of Wands right here. This is fire and passion and determination and creativity. And look, she's having a time of her life, for heaven's sakes. So you guys may be changing something up, but I think it's going to be for the best. And I think you guys are going to be absolutely thrilled about it, honest to goodness. So make sure you get all the information that you need. The sadness is coming to an end. This coming together is coming is getting closer together. Could be this Eight of Rods. And I think by the end of this um reading that you guys are going to be in a totally different place than what you are here. All right, Taurus, this is a good reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. This is your first half of November reading, November 1st through the 15th reading for Taurus. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.